that was my question in, that you answered, and I was going to ask Starsky too, what he sees, like how he's going to actually try to twist this to be a good thing for him as he backs away and runs out of Ukraine. Because like, that's <laughs> basically what I see the groundwork being laid for. Well, um, remember they the just Russians, left, yeah. the Russians are yeah. known for being great gymnasts. So he's basically going to crawl up his own asshole and come back out and say, oh, it wasn't my fault. It was these guys' fault. Yeah, but I mean, just the way it looks when there's a missile strike and like all, all the yeah. ships that are supposed to fight back on it on a supposed uh, Russian takeover area of Ukraine. And they go and they do a missile strike missile strikes out there and at the, at the fleet just leaves okay because they're <laughs> saying they have these territories but they're not actually occupying or controlling these territories they make like a big hit make a big statement they're surrounding everything ukraine comes back in does a little push and i didn't even think that that was a huge missile strike starsky was it and they just took tail and all left they that speaks volumes you see the resources are really really uh, desperate, you know, or there's just not a real push for actively going in there and controlling the situation. And uh, by the way, this missile strike uh, was conducted using uh, Storm Shadow missiles, mm -hmm. uh, generously provided to us by our British allies. Uh, and those are very, very good. I know that uh, uh, mm -hmm. they made them, uh, they made it possible to attach them to uh, SU-24 uh, Ukrainian bombers that we still have. Uh, and uh, I must say that the, f the the biggest fun for Russians will only start after the uh, successful Ukrainian counteroffensive because mm -hmm. uh, and not only for Russians. As for Russians, uh, the fun will only begin because uh, after uh, they are completely removed from Ukraine, uh, they will have to deal with the uh, uh, Russian freedom fighters. They mm -hmm. will have to deal with everyone who is dissatisfied with Putin. And uh, I'm talking about, not about Russian people, like nobody cares about Russian people. I'm mm -hmm. talking about uh, oligarchs. I'm talking about people yeah. who had like huge businesses uh, on the West and uh, now they're losing billions of dollars uh, every month because of sanctions and stuff so uh but uh, of course the 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 most yummy uh, about all this is that uh they will have to continue fighting against uh, the uh, russian freedom fighters armed with tanks armed with helicopters missiles again uh, all kinds of strike drones mm -hmm all kinds of artillery that was bought in uh, Walmart. And uh, th like the fun will continue for a long, long time, maybe not indefinitely, but they will spend like, I don't know how much time. The war will come to Russia uh, on a huge scale. Uh, that's one thing. Another thing is, uh, again, it's because Currently, I have a more or less clear vision on what happens after the counteroffensive. Um, yeah, and uh, we were already talking about it, uh, that a lot of angry Ukrainian men will finally be able to travel around the globe because we can easily access uh, European Union, uh, probably will become members of European Union. And uh, uh, we will be very, very angry and, uh, you know, uh, we will ask a lot of questions to different people because, you know, all the peaceniks, all the supporters of the Russian terrorism, they live in their, uh, let's say, uh, comfortable bubble yeah. where they think that calling to kill Ukrainians it's a uh, freedom of speech. It's their right. But to Ukrainians, it's, it's a matter of survival. That's why yeah. we will be very, very happy to meet all of those beautiful people and uh, ask uh, those motherfuckers, why did they want us to die? Uh, yeah. I think this will be the most pleasant part of this. I mean, uh, I, I will travel 
like all around the globe. I'm I'm already packing my bags. Uh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs>